So it's 2023 and everyone seems to be talking about FinOps. Everyone, including CIOs, business leaders, and even the media. But then there's you who has never heard about FinOps. Or maybe you've heard about FinOps, but are not quite sure what it is and if it even matters. But don't worry, that's why I'm here. My name is Dumebi Oti and I'm a FinOps consultant at Google. And in this video, I'll be telling you all about FinOps and why you should care about it, especially if you work with cloud technology. So let's dive in. Every year, Gartner releases a hype cycle for emerging technologies reports that list the most known technologies that are set to impact business and the society for the next decade. And in 2022, for the first time, augmented FinOps, which is a component of FinOps, was listed as one of such technologies, along with other technologies like Web3, AI, and machine learning. So now that we know that FinOps is sort of a big deal, what exactly is it? Here at Google, we define FinOps as an operational framework and cultural shift that brings together technology, business, and finance to drive financial accountability and accelerates business value realization through cloud transformation. To break that down even further, with traditional IT, that is before organizations started operating in the cloud, IT costs were the responsibility of the IT finance team, or in some cases, the procurement team. Spend was predictable, and it was easy to stick with the budgets set during the annual cycles. But the cloud has changed everything. For example, an engineer can easily sit in the comfort of his home and spin up a cloud resource that could cost $1,000 without getting the approval of IT finance or the procurement team. So the discipline of FinOps provides a new way for teams to manage their cloud costs, where everyone takes responsibility for their cloud usage, and this is governed by a central team. FinOps is sometimes called cloud cost management or cloud financial engineering or cloud cost optimization. But in reality, the discipline of FinOps goes beyond just cloud optimization. There are five building blocks of FinOps, accountability and enablement, measurement and realization, cost optimization, planning and forecasting, and tools and accelerators. Accountability and enablement focuses on establishing a centralized cross-functional team whose responsibility is to set governance and standards to manage cloud costs across the organization. Measurement and realization focuses on developing KPIs and business value metrics to track the success of cloud transformation. Cost optimization focuses on identifying key cost drivers, providing visibility, and making it a continuous process to constantly optimize cloud costs. Planning and forecasting focuses on properly allocating cloud costs and deciding on a proper showback or chargeback mechanism. Finally, bringing everything together, Tools and Accelerator focuses on using the right cloud cost tools to properly allocate and effectively track cloud spend. So now that you know what Cloud FinOps is, here are three reasons why you should care about Cloud FinOps. Number one, Cloud FinOps is here to stay and it favors the early adopters. The earlier you get started, the better for your organization. Number two, with the recent economic fluctuations, FinOps is a tool for organizations to optimize their IT technology and help them get the maximum value from the cloud. Lastly, Cloud FinOps is a critical tool to accelerate digital transformation. If your organization is interested in getting started on their FinOps journey, just send a message to the email in the description. Thank you, and I'll see you again in the next video.